Well, the time has come that uh, it was time to get all the plants out here into the greenhouse here in Michigan. And I'm actually going to plant our jalapeno peppers in here this year. We've already amended the soil with compost. We amended all of our beds so far. We're adding more beds too. But um, I can give you a quick little tour of what we got growing here. So here's our peppers. They're doing really good. I got to go through and pinch them. They're starting to get, get peppers. These are all of the sweet peppers that we're growing. And then these are the jalapenos and it's just a mix of the regular jalapeno and Craig's Grand Jalapeno. These two are the Ahi Chaparita hot peppers. Supposedly the most expensive pepper in the world. We're just growing them um, because we like hot things and um, I like to grow new things. So these seedlings, uh, we have Rudbeckia. Um, oh shoot, this is a, a giant pansy. Delphiniums. There's some zinnias, some dahlias from seed, some salvia, clary sage poppies. Actually, I need to get these planted today. Um, I've never grown dahlias from seed, so I'm really excited to try that. And then these were just some dahlia tubers that I started way too early because I'm not real experienced with dahlias, but I need to up pot. I know they don't really like to be transplanted, but um, it is what it is. They're just getting too big, and I've already pinched them once. And then these are some salvias that I bought at the nursery because we just have a small nursery in town and it sells out really fast. So um, so I picked some of the salvias up that I wanted for my hummingbird garden. Let's see. There's this one. This one this one's really pretty. It's like a coral. And then here's another black and blue. And then what I have left of my Lysianthus. Um, they don't look the greatest because I pinched them and I shocked them <laughs> and I gave about half of them away along with some lupines that I grew from seed for teacher appreciation week. So um, yeah, so the teachers got some nice plants for their garden. I've been kind of doing that every year. The principal, actually, I grew her an organic beefsteak tomato plant. She was pretty happy with that. It was actually pretty big. Um, this is some verbena that I have started from seed. Down here we have some elephant ears, which I never grew them before. And I got them on clearance from the dollar store for 50 cents a bulb. So I started them and they're doing good. They're growing wonderful, but... I've never grown them before. Hopefully they don't outgrow those pots. I'm not sure. And then um, down here's our tomatoes. And we have German pe German pinks, Rutgers, beefsteak, um, bread and butter, which is new this year for us. And then sun gold. Those are my favorite. And I think, yeah, just the four, four types. Um, my jalapenos are going to go in this bed here. I have eight of them. I'm going to remove this. This is actually a perennial rosemary for my zone, which I was pretty excited to find this. Supposedly, it'll grow zone six. Um, I didn't have anywhere to put it, so I planted it in here just as a kind of a nursery. But I'm actually thinking I'm going to plant it up um, by my back deck that's um, off the kitchen and it's nice and warm there it's southern exposure so it'll be warmer too so they say we're zone six i think we teeter on that but this is a arp rosemary and it forms a shrub different um, this says height 12 to 36 inches but i saw online that they can get really tall too if they're happy so but yeah, oh, and then this is some scabiosa and some other lupines that I got. I'm gonna plant those out in the garden today. 
Uh, this is another of those ahi chaparritas. It's getting, it's pretty happy. So pretty excited about that. But yeah, that's um, that's what's going on in here, and uh, gonna dig some holes, and I'm gonna throw some alpaca manure in there, and um, yeah, I'm gonna dig. We're gonna have eight of them, and I'm gonna plant them about two foot apart. I think, be close. I'm gonna remove that rosemary. So. Because it's in here, I'm going to make a well because it dries out a lot faster in here. It doesn't get natural rainwater. So I'm going to make a little well for watering. Hello? Oh, this is David. Yes. Yeah, we're going to read the logs out, okay? Just wondering if you would be there. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, and uh, there's a, well, two, three more logs that don't cost any more. Or? Well, maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, what did you, you said you had about eight, eight of them. Eight, so eight or ten, but there's probably 13. thirteen or fourteen behind the shed. Okay, well. The side's wet. Dig it in the hole. The roots, they were, they were wanting to be planted. Oh, that's too deep. Nope, that's about right. Yeah. I think that looks like pretty good spacing though, don't you? I mean, jalapenos don't get that big, really. We got our eight jalapeno peppers in. I'm super happy. Um, I love having this cattle panel greenhouse. I gotta say, um, it's a lot better since he enclosed the ends because it just feels like more of a, a permanent structure, I guess. I don't know. Um, I like it. I like it quite well. Um, we replaced the window in here. W matches the window that's in the other greenhouse now and um, put some shelves up so I can put my tools and whatnot up there. I'd like to get some um, nice baskets or something for up there. 
and yeah, some hooks for my hand tools. Right now, I don't really have a garden shed, so that storage building over there, that's where all of my gardening stuff is. I started all of these peppers from seed in March. It's still a little early for me to plant the other peppers outside, but I'm really happy to get this head start on these ones inside. We have lots of potatoes, onions, and garlic planted, as well as my cool season crops that are in the raised beds. Really looking forward to this growing season, and hopefully we can grow a lot of food that we can put up. 